Hello, I'm going to explain the significance of the force displacement graph. The work done by a constant force is given by the formula F times S. If you bother to plot the graph, then you get a horizontal line because F is a constant force. And you realize that F times S is equivalent to the area under the FS graph. In general, the force need not be constant, so your FS graph may look like a curve like this. Then you realize you cannot calculate work done simply by 1F times 1S, because which F are you going to use? Let's think about it. Even though the force may vary by a lot throughout the entire displacement, it may not vary so much within a small tiny displacement. So we can get a pretty accurate estimate of the total work done by summing up F1 times delta S plus F2 times delta S plus F3 times delta S and so on. So basically we are estimating the total work done by summing up the areas of all these rectangles. What if we divide the total displacement by say um, 1 trillion? Then every segment is going to become incredibly thin. So within every incredibly thin delta S, the value of the force is going to be practically constant. So what do we get when we add up the areas of these 1 trillion incredibly thin rectangular segments? What we get is the area under the graph. So if the force is not constant, then we can calculate the total work done by resorting to the area under the FS graph. Mathematically, it's actually quite obvious. Every little bit of F times delta S gives us a little bit of work done. To obtain the total work done, we have to sum up all the little bits of F times delta S. If delta S is incredibly small, then this term is actually equal to this, which is the area under the FS graph. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!